Hey students, happy Sunday. I hope you are all doing well. Um, I want you to make sure that you take a look on your outline feedback. Um, I went in today and any that I had not completed, um, I went ahead and finished those up. So a few of you um, got a little confused and what you submitted to me was a rough draft rather than an outline. And a rough draft looks more like the actual paper where an outline is just an overview of your thesis statement, your topic sentences, um, and kind of the bones of what your paper is going to look like. And I just want to draw your attention back to that. If you go to your module and you scroll down to that outline submission link, what you'll notice here is that I have the actual handout right there for you to fill in. But then below that, I give you a model and an example of what that should look like. Um, so for any of you who've gotten a little confused and just need a little extra help, um, go back and revisit that. And then if you still have questions, I'm always glad to meet with you and talk through that. So what I have opened up at this point is the eulogy rough draft discussion board. Um, so what I want you to do, I'm just going to go over these instructions. I gave you a little video here that I want you to watch about feedback and peer review. And guys, what that's going to do is just kind of break down some ideas and the type of language that you want to use. And just always remember that you can say everything with kindness. Um, it's always good to encourage one another while also being honest with one another. So after you have reviewed and applied the feedback, um, you need to submit your draft using a Word document. I cannot express that enough. Some of you use some funky formatting with your online um, outline submissions, and I could not leave you embedded feedback. So make sure that you use um, the proper format. When you submit the draft, use the context box to indicate two things that you want your reviewer to look for. For example, if you're concerned about your thesis statement, share that. Um, if you don't think that your topic sentences are connected to the thesis, share that. If you think you're being repetitive, share that. I mean, that can help whoever's reviewing your paper, myself included, um, to look for the things that you're concerned about. And then after you submit your draft, you need to choose one person to review. Um, and you're going to use this document below that says revision checklist. Um, this is a thorough review, y'all. Um, do not choose a peer who has already been reviewed. If you are the second reviewer and you have submitted after someone else already did, your grade will not count. Um, I need everybody to be reviewed. And so I don't want you going to one person and them getting four reviews. Find someone who has not been reviewed yet. And you can see that by if there's a response in their discussion thread. And then just remember, be kind in your word choice. Honesty can always be done with thoughtfulness. And here's just an example. I really appreciate your really strong hook. It really grabbed my attention. However, I think your thesis needs a bit of work. I had trouble locating it in the introduction. Highlight the areas that they did really well and be specific about the areas that they need to improve in. Um, do not say things like this paper is bad. OK, um, that, that, that's not helpful and it's not um, it, it doesn't give them anything to go off of. So just be thoughtful, be the kind of reviewer that you would want to have review your own essay. Um, and so just keep in mind, I will be reviewing each essay. So you will all get feedback from me. And if you have any questions, never hesitate to reach out. We can Zoom, we can talk on the phone, um, or you can come by my office Monday through Wednesday. And I look forward to reading your very first drafts. It's gonna be a great draft week. Have a great week. And I look forward to reading your essays.